Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a feature in Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse uh, called Piece Picking. So what Piece Picking does is it, it basically forces you to scan each individual item and confirm that you're picking the right one. So you might use this for you know expensive high dollar items that you want to basically have the worker confirm every item, right? You might also use this in a warehouse where you don't really have a packing process and you just want to make sure you don't have it, you know, that you don't have a packing process so you don't have that double check at the end. So you want to make sure that the, um, the item that they're picking is correct, right? So piece picking versus normal picking, what, you know, again, piece picking is going to make you scan every item. Normal picking, you can scan the item and then just enter in the quantity, for example, would be the difference between the two. So let's go on over and take a look at how we set it up. It's a real simple setup here. Uh, so I've got it set up in the mobile menu device item. And so I've got one here set up called Piece Pick and just pretty standard setup using work, existing work. Now I'm going to use user directed, but uh, this can be system directed or you know any, any other type here that you want. I'm going to and generating a license plate so it doesn't ask me and then I have my work classes in here. In here. Now where you actually set this up at is under the work confirmation setup. So if we go into work confirmation, first thing you have to have is you, it's, you have to have the product confirmation uh, checkbox checked and then there's this piece picking confirmation. Now, whenever you start describing this to a customer or start talking to a customer about this, what they're going to the probably the first question they'll ask you is, you know, well, what if I've got a thousand? I don't have to scan it a thousand times. So if we look over back over here, we have this maximum number of pieces, right? So when uh, when you when you confirm this many pieces, it's going to then ask you for the quantity. So you know, in this case, I've got five. You're going to Confirm five, and then you'll you'll get a quantity field. And you, if you're supposed to pick ten, you'll put in your other, you'll just put five in there and hit enter, and that'll confirm the rest of them there. So I've, I've got it set to a kind of low number here, just for our example. But uh, this could be any number that uh, that you want to set it to. Now the other thing that you want to be sure and set up here is on your UPC codes or your barcodes, you want to make sure you put a quantity against it, especially if you're doing things like cases of goods. So you know if you're picking a case, you don't want to have to scan it 12 times, for example, if you've got 12 items in a case. So you want to be able to have a, a UPC code that's got 12. So you, when you scan the case, you're going to get you're going to get 12 there. Okay, so just make sure you have quantities on your UPC codes. All right, so let's take a look at our example here. So if I go to the sales order, it's 3662. I've got two items on here. So I've got our 51081 for four and our 51515 for, for 10. Okay, so I've got uh, some UPC codes here I'm going to copy off. So let's go ahead and um, let me just show you what I got here. So I've got a piece picking menu. So if I go to piece picking, first thing it's going to do is ask me for the work ID. So let's go back over here to the work ID, get the work details, and we'll grab the work ID here. So just to take a quick look at the work, it's very simple pick and a put, uh, two items picking and a, and a put. So four and ten there. All right, so let me grab this work ID. Uh, for, for us here, we'll copy that and we'll use that to kick things off. So we'll scan that work ID or enter it in and that'll get us into the, the mobile device. And so notice when, we had, when we're on the screen here, it's asking us to scan the item and it's, it's telling us, you know, we got zero of four confirmed, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my uh, barcode here and we'll just uh, scan this one. So we'll scan that barcode. And so now it's saying one of four confirmed here, right? So notice it's not asking me for a quantity. I'm just going through, so I'm going to scan it again. There's two of four confirmed, scan it again. Three or four confirmed, scan it again. There's four or four confirmed, right? So then it'll take me to the next one, okay? So this one, notice it's got a quantity of 10. And it's basically, remember the we set a maximum of five to confirm. So that's why it's saying zero of five confirmed. So let me go grab my other UPC code for this one. And it's going to make us, you know, confirm five of them. So we're going to do one, two. So again, our count's updating up here. Three, four, and five there. Okay. So once we do that, it's going to say, you know, it's going to ask us for a quantity. So if we look down here, we've got five of ten. So we've got to enter the remaining five, right? So when you go and pick the other five, you're just going to put five in there and say, okay. And then here's our beta or step. We're just going to say, okay, to that one. All right. So again, this is a quick one today. I, I think it's a neat feature. I used it recently on a project. Um, it, you know, if you wanted to segregate out expensive items, you could do that with a work class and a work template. You know, if you wanted to force them on, on certain items to, to use a different menu item and use picking uh, 
uh, the piece picking feature, you can do that. All right, so I hope you found some value in this. Hope you learned something new today. Um, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up or like it. That just helps me out on the distribution of the video. And I put out a video about once a week. So if you like this content, please subscribe. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers there. I'm trying to get up to, to a thousand. Uh, for that milestone there. So if you don't mind going ahead and subscribing, again, that helps me on the distribution of these videos as well. Just helps more people see it, um, makes this more worthwhile for me to do this. So please like it, please subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.